cooking pots. Purifying fire, remove burning frozen stone charm. That sounds useful. Let's see what's in these chests. The rat's not gonna tell on me, right? He's been down in the cellar stealing everything. What do you guys think the key is? Hmm? Okay, we're gonna go back in here. And um no, we looked at those. Let's see if we can find the key. Is that there? Yeah, okay it is reachable. Wood pile. Okay, so I have to go back this way because I know there's a ticky ticky boom boom spot somewhere. Don't want to step in it. Alright, well, thanks for staying guard. I already got this, right? Yes. Let's go. Um, you sir. Greetings, source hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received captain's explicit approval. I've spoken with Arius. Not exactly the friendliest block captain, is he? <laughs> well, the only word for getting your ear chewed off in a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Oh snap. Don't actually know if I want to go in here. What? By the quill that lasts a billion words, what is this? Interesting, I want one of those quills. <laughs> what are you doing here where... Uh, what are you doing here where the very stars come to die? Who are you and where have you come from? Um, he looks like the devil. We are source hunters from the realm of Rivalon. Are you indeed? Then let me tell you, hunters of source, that you have strayed far, far from home, in a space and far in time. How? I wonder. All we did is approach a strange stone. It shone with a blinding light and then whirled us away. A stone you say could be? Could I have been right all along? the stone what was it was it bright and beauteous as diamond <laughs> beauteous uh, that became a word that's awesome but did it glow softly deep down it's in its heart as if a soul dwelled within I'd say that's fairly accurate star stone it must be for centuries it slept this bound for the heavens but now it is way waking and it has brought its awakeners here I think the stone has been there without me awakening it I don't actually know what you're talking about I mean honestly why is 
why is nobody that's gone in that room until now being swept away by the stone? Is it something to do with um, with me specifically? Maybe. All was dark and all was still, as I always has, as it always has been, always would be, or so I thought, so I feared. Uh, but then the runes around me begin to shiver, shimmer, shine, and dance like fair. Okay, something happened. And yeah, please make sense. Uh, he's been making sense all along. Um, okay, see, see, this is what you must do, approach the looking lens and behold, if you dare, the darkness before which even the cosmic shadows flee in terror. You know, so I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. All right. First, can I... With the looking lens. Oh, I'm like in space. Cool statues, inactive portal. Let's look at the lens. Fantastic, the portal has become active. Onward we should go. The heck? Any anything in have you been telling me that you've been stuck here and now that we came along? Can you talk? Well, hello there! You saw terrifying, isn't it? Actually, it looked pretty cool. Looks like looked like I was in space, like like time travel, but not really like space um, warping, some kind of thing. Yeah, reminded me of Star Wars. I don't know why. Do you not know what Star Wars is? All right, you want to discover and see places? I'm not a child, the dark doesn't scare me. Um, I know a bad omen when I see one and that one takes the cake. <laughs> oh, where? What, it was only a cake that it, look, it took? No tea time would be the same. Oh, okay. Oh, were that just a cake that it took? Okay. Just keep going. You have witnessed end of all. Okay, the maelstrom that, like a carrion eater, is devouring the carcass of creation. Space and time have lost all meaning, for they are falling prey to the void. Okay. He despaired for the longest time, but then obviously got here, so, um, yeah, then I found this place, and he knew that answer must be hidden, okay, you have, you have drowned my despair, you whom I believe can end the end of time, okay, so now we're gonna save the world some other way, like, it wasn't enough that we were already battling, like, orcs and some kind of source murder and undead which we never got to fight uh, because I just had to stumble upon that stone of shiny things all right to claim I can piece the puzzle together would at this stage be premature and insincere but let me summarize the facts that clearly as I see them. I don't know if I... I'm sorry guys, this is... I think it's time you tell me who you are, Sir Imp. Of course, he is uh, the Imp histor historian Zizax. Zixax. Zixax, okay. Tasked by the gods to write the history of all creation, faithfully have I fulfilled my task and would have done so perpetually until one day I saw that time will end. Okay. Uh, let's just go. It's 
better idea. We can talk till the cows come home. Uh, you're saying that there's cows that live here? Uh, we should investigate this portal and yeah, let's not wait for the cows. Buddy. Oh, what strange new world is this? Let us explore. Uh, Where on the world are we? We are not on the world at all. I guess I'll follow him. He's gonna get himself in trouble. This one has a stern look about him, doesn't he? A smile doesn't cost you anything, you know. Um, I don't think I should be looting things. Oh, what's this? Arrowhead, sure. Yeah. Could, it be? Could, it be? Could you be her, the legendary weaver? Oh, jeez. Will you not speak, Billy? Okay. So he just. Uh, this woman won't talk. She tried every tongue imaginable, apparently. Maybe she just doesn't like the look of a refined, impish face like mine. Perhaps you'll have a better luck. To be sure back when you find with what you find. So long! Alright, let's talk. Level 20. She is a weaver of time. Okay, so. A young woman is ceaselessly weaving a seemingly boundless tapestry with the delicate grace of a harpist plucking at her instrument's strings. She takes no notice of anything but her endless occupation. Sounds lovely. Um, at first, it seems this tech taciturn woman will continue to ignore your presence, but then she suddenly glances at you, and her eyes go wide with surprise and wonder. Her moves lip, her move lips slightly, really, her <laughs> lips move slightly, <laughs> ever so slightly, and when she speaks, her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance. Whispers wrestle from oblivion. I. Um, time, the weaver of time, and the eternal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral operations. I probably shouldn't do a low pitch, sort of scary voice. She seems not to be scary. Okay, I skipped a bit because I don't want to have to read all day. Do you mean to tell me that I am not at all featured on the caverns of time? I do not mean to, but it is only thing I can do in your absence. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. Um, I do not know you, which makes you one perennial imperfection, a blind spot in the eye of time. Um, how can I re redeem time if, as you say, I'm not even part of it? I think that is the reason I create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I can only help, held possible. I no longer held possible. Interesting. Um... Know then that no longer I did weave, I sat here at the Principe of Ages and washed on as the void raised the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of its own creation. Um, there's this is a pretty good story. Wow, but suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones, these stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. Okay, so the star stones, please take them 
so that time may be re demanded, please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves. Seek them so that the void may yet discover itself alone, devour itself alone. Okay, so I have to find the stones. Plot thickens. We should tell the imp the weaver's tale. Well, hello there. Okay. Um. This one. Wondrous indeed. Uh, she said I should look for the star stones, for they renew and revitalize time. I knew it. As surely as Zix comes before Zax, I knew it. Interesting. Um, then that should be our mission. Okay, wherever it may lead you, together we'll try to unfold the depths of this dimension and thereby try to save all and everything. Sounds good. Here, take this runestone and this pressure little pyramid gifts. Are they from me to you? The rune will bring you back and forth from Revelon. We decide the moment is opportune. And the pyramid, it has a twin. Find it and you will see just how handy these twins can be. Got it. So long! Okay, I can quick travel now. Uh, use the homestead travel button on the right on the screen under the minimap. What if I want to loot? 